so this is a fun one. Uh, Y'all know that I am no fan of Beto O'Rourke. Um, he's one of many, one of many politicians I'm not a fan of, but uh, I'm no fan of Beto O'Rourke. And here is something uh, that happened last night that I just kind of got a kick out of and I wanted to share. This is kind of a fun one. So check this out. Matthew McConaughey. This is from the Dallas Morning News out in Texas. Matthew McConaughey, all right, all right, all right, may be a viable candidate for Texas governor. Uh, the poll shows him ahead of Abbott. So Matthew McConaughey commands more support to be Texas ne next governor than incumbent Greg Abbott, according to a poll released Sunday by the Dallas Morning News. However, the fam film actor and political newcomer could hit potholes in either major party's primaries. For months, McConaughey has tested teased, excuse me, political pundits and TV talk show hosts with musing musings he might enter politics in his home state. Now, if he were to do that, the poll found 45% of Texas registered voters would vote for him, 33% Abbott, 22 for someone else. Um, when Democrats broke 66 to 8 for McConaughey, McCona and independents 44 to 28, more than twice as many Democratic primary voters, 51%, said they wanted a... Whoa, listen to that. In Texas, in Texas, more than twice as many Democratic primary voters, 51%, said they wanted a progressive candidate for governor, then wanted a centrist. So the base, the Democratic base, this isn't the establishment, mind you, the Democratic base, even in Texas, want a progressive more than a centrist. De Texas also has more DSA chapters sprouting up than anywhere else. Now, I know part of that is just because the state's so freaking huge, but what it's saying is people want a more progressive direction for this party, and they're still not doing it. They're not doing it. Why? Because the base doesn't get a say. The establishment does. We know this. But so the reason I bring this up is because after that hit the Twitter, like hit the blogosphere, basically, Twitter sphere, whatever you want to call it, Beto O'Rourke was trending. And Beto O'Rourke was trending because a bunch of people were calling for Beto to run for governor instead. So here's 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 Beto trending. I'll support Beto. Here's just some of the tweets. I'll support Beto O'Rourke in a bid for governor over Matthew McConaughey any day. Beto is a former representative who knows what Texas needs. McConaughey is unqualified. If Matthew McConaughey loves Texas, he would support and work to get Beto O'Rourke uh, elected as the next governor. Here's my tweet. Here's my tweet. And this just randomly came after a, a searching for Beto trending search. Here's my tweet. And this is why I wanted to bring this up. Both of them are moderates. Matthew McConaughey and Beto O'Rourke, both are quote unquote moderates. And I put moderates in quotes because in reality, they're all right wingers. Because if you're moderate by United States standards, you're far right anywhere else. So they're both right wingers. Both are vaguely interested in politics. You, you think Beto O'Rourke has any firm policy positions? The only firm thing Beto cares about is a table for him to stand on. He's a performance artist. Both are really into attention. I think that's fair. Matthew McConaughey, Beto O'Rourke, both really into attention. So what I say in this tweet and what I say now, I'm not really sure the difference between Matthew McConaughey and Beto O'Rourke other than Matthew McConaughey succeeded in an industry that Beto failed at, which is true. Beto wanted to be uh, in show business to some extent. He wanted to be a musician. He failed at that. Um, so... Why I wanted to bring this up, people love to throw those things out there like, ah, we don't need some actor in politics. We, actors should stick to acting. Now, in principle, I actually do agree with that. I, I think, you know what? I, I don't like making a show business out of politics. Politics should be about public service. It should be about pol policy. It should be about lawmaking. But again, our system ain't about that. Our system ain't about that. So in principle, do I agree with that sentiment? Yeah, but in practice, the United States has no standards anyway. How would Matthew McConaughey be any better or worse than Beto O'Rourke? I don't think he would. And I'm not saying that to promote Matthew McConaughey. I'm saying that to say, look at how shitty our system is. Where, where you guys are duped into celebrating someone like a Beto O'Rourke. When really, he's not offering anything different than Matthew McConaughey. He's offering nothing different. Beto wanted to be a musician. He failed at it. 
And by the way, he played with some of the guys in At The Drive-In, top-notch musicians. He still failed at it. Matthew McConaughey just happened to succeed in acting. Yeah, and, you know, and he's done some funny stuff, whatever. And, and I'm sure I'm sure politically, I, I disagree with both of them. Politically, I'm not aligned with either of them. The base in Texas, once a progressive, they ain't offering that. They're, neither of them are offering that. You say, oh, Matthew McConaughey, he's a new, no vice to politics. Beto O'Rourke has more experience. Experience doing what? What Big Oil tells him to? Yeah, he has experience with that. Experience with billionaires? Yeah, he has experience with that. Experience with donors? Yeah, he has experience there. How is he Is he any better than a political no vice? Again, he isn't. So uh, Matthew McConaughey or Beto O'Rourke, what's the difference? Tell me what the difference is. Beto has experience. Yeah, experience doing what? Actors should just stick to acting. What, so he succeed? He's just, he succeeded at something? Beto failed at it? That makes him worse somehow? How does that make him better or worse? He just succeeded in show business. Beto couldn't. Beto couldn't succeed in politics either, by the way. He really couldn't. He had a billionaire bump because he married into billions. And that's just who he is. Um, so I just thought that was peculiar. And again, it's really a snapshot that shows what our politics are all about. Oh, don't make it don't make it a sideshow. It's already a sideshow. It is already just a corporate coup, banana republic sideshow. That's what our system is. That's what Beto O'Rourke is. That's just what he is. And, and you're supposed to entertain some notion that he's any better or worse than some right-wing actor? In many ways, he himself is a right-wing actor. Beto O'Rourke. And if Beto ran for governor of Texas, Beto would probably lose. And Matthew McConaughey might lose too. I don't know. But, um, man... Hopefully, Texas, you get an actual progressive option. That'd be great. A real progressive running in Texas. Somebody running for the right reasons, too. Imagine that. But when you have this uh, celebrity deity worship of politicians where they're never held accountable for anything, they're not expected to do anything, you can just talk nice and tweet nice and you're worshipped. And you have a ticket to Easy Street if you just do what your donors tell you. You can become a hundred millionaire. Oh, and by the way, if, if people who are actual progressive challengers, the Democratic establishment spends $50 million making sure you don't get anywhere. And if they need to spend another $50 million, guess what? They will. They will. So... Yeah, I, I love the idea of not making a, a, a sideshow out of our politics. Let me know when it's not a sideshow in the first place. And uh, it's sad. We live in an era where Beto O'Rourke is no better than any given Hollywood actor. And hey, if Matthew McConaughey had better politics, I'd say Matthew McConaughey is a way better option. If Matthew McConaughey wasn't a quote unquote left, uh, excuse me, wasn't a quote unquote moderate and was actually a lefty, I'd say, hell, I'm rooting for Matthew McConaughey. He's at least a lefty. He's an actor. So what? Beto wishes he was an actor. Beto's an actor just in a different way. He's a shitty actor. So he had to settle to be a politician with billions behind him. Chuck Todd, shitty actor. He's not even doing a convincing job playing a news anchor. He's failing at that. So, uh, so you want a world where you don't have actors jumping in the political realm? Well, guess what? The system needs to freaking change. Reagan was an actor. Somebody brought that up. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're trying to take some moral high ground. By saying Beto O'Rourke is, is some is some better choice than Matthew McConaughey. I wish we lived in that society. I wish we lived in a society where we could say any given politician would be better than someone in show business. But guess what? We don't live in that world. 
It's a shame we don't, but we don't. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your 